hello uh, my buddhist friends uh, we are in peshawar guru shapura uh, the capital of gandhara and uh, we are going towards uh, deer uh, deer udhyana state uh, and the chakdara city uh, which is the birthplace of uh, padma sambhava uh, buddhist master uh, who is a pioneer of tibetan buddhism and uh, chakdara is a old city ancient trade route alexander came through chakdara and uh, from the shower we will go almost uh, uh, 170 kilometers and uh, we will also show you the the way the distance the roads and uh, the the live views of uh, gandhara Andan Dairy Andan Dairy is situated 7 km north of uh, uh, Chakdara Chakdara bridge Chakdara is a historical city and Andan Dairy is said to have been uh, uh, associated with the legend of Buddha and according to the 7th century pilgrim uh, Hoan Sang uh, this according to that legend that Buddha changed himself into a great serpent lying dead in the valley in order to save save the people from famine and the starving people uh, cut the body into pieces and fed themselves Gandhara is also said to have been uh, the location of a mystical lake Dhanakosha and uh, Dhanakosha the mystical lake of Dhanakosha is the birthplace of Padma Sambhava the founder of Tibetan Buddhism the Kagyu sect of Tibetan Buddhist identify the site of a, a mystical Dhanakosha lake with this Andhan Dairy it is said that the uh, uh, the stupa uh, from the base of the stupa a spring was flown to form a lake Uh, Dr Ahmed Hassan Dani uh, the pioneer of Pakistani archaeologists excavated Andan Dairy and recovered more than 500 Buddhist sculptures uh, from this grand beautiful and amazing and it's so important historically uh, Buddhism was flourished in the 6th or 7th or 5th centuries AD when the Chinese pilgrims visited regularly and uh, the glory has been witnessed here Uh, the history here which is more than 3500 years old the gandhara grave culture was here and especially for the tibetan buddhist this uh, chakdara is very uh, revered uh, very sacred and it's a but uh, place of padma sambhava the tantric thamatarj uh, he was invited to tibet and uh, he is known to be the founder of tibetan buddhism and uh, Vajrayana Buddhism was popular here and uh, in the 6 according to professor uh, uh, Guisip Tusi uh, he said that uh, in the 6th or 7th centuries there befell some calamities uh, the flood or earthquake which destroys the monasteries and which disrupt the normal life and uh, after that uh, Uh, Vishnuism or Shaivism flourished here uh, in the 8th or 9th or 10th centuries and in the 11th century the the muslim conquerors or the conquerors from the west they conquered these area and the signs were almost uh, diminished from the 10th century and it's been from 10th century to 20th centuries these historical places uh, lied buried in the soil in the shape of mounds and in the shape of debris 